everybody, this is Praxis and I'm back on site today and I'm staining these floor joists. I was able to jump right on them because I got them uh, taped up at the end of the day yesterday. Uh, I had a little bit of an issue with one of them and I want to talk about that. But first, I want to mention I had some good news. Uh, you know, there's been a lot of bad news on this project as you guys know who have been following the series. But I got some good news. Uh, when I last spoke to the plumber, uh, it was about two and a half weeks ago or so, and they said that optimistically they thought maybe they could show up uh, within about two weeks, which actually would be yesterday or today, and you know, they didn't make it for yesterday or today. But last night I heard from them and they said, okay, we finally got through our other projects, we can show up Thursday of next week, which is a week from yesterday. So that sounds like more of a realistic estimate on when they're going to show up. So we just kind of uh, went over that and talked about, you know, how that's going to go. We have the coronavirus situation here, which, uh, you know, I want to be sensitive to people's uh, desires for safety. So uh, I told them that when they come on Thursday, I have no problem, you know, ha not having anyone here 48 hours prior to them getting here. So when they come into this environment, they know that it's just a safe environment. They don't have to feel like they can't touch their face while they're working or wear rubber gloves or, or be paranoid about it. They can just be comfortable in here. And they, that seemed, they seem to really like hearing that. So that was good that I was able to tell that to them and that it was able to you know, put them in a state where I think that they are maybe not as fearful of, of working on this site because they know that there's some care uh, gonna be taken to keep them safe while they're here. So that's good, awesome, the plumber's finally showing up. I'm gonna be going around just making some notes for them, like, you know, right here's where the sink's gonna be. I'm gonna be writing, putting a sign here, center the sink on the window, uh, you know, with the drains and, and the supply lines, there's more notes over there. I'm gonna go over them, uh, the, all that with them when they come on site. I'm gonna be wearing a respirator so they don't feel like I'm gonna be uh, contaminating the site or anything or them. But, uh, but yeah, I'll be putting some notes around just as reminders. Um, I'm gonna try to be here quite a bit of it, but you know, I'm not sure how much I'll be able to be here. Um, and plus it's not fun to wear a respirator for that long. So we'll see. Uh, the thing I wanted to mention about this is when I was standing, I'm not sure if you can see it, but there's some kind of what light squiggly lines on here. And that's artifacts of the sanding. Josh had done the sanding on all these and I kind of noticed there were some kind of squiggly lines in there and I didn't think much of it. I was just kind of like, ah, I don't know, maybe like it's pushing down in a corner and it, uh, you know, did something, I don't know. I was kind of hoping that the stain was gonna kind of uh, cover all that up, but it actually brought it out. You can see the lines more. Uh, my best guess is that the sanding pad, the rubber of the sanding pad, maybe got in there and it, it kind of plugged some, some, of, like, some of the rubber maybe in there. Because if you just sanded it more and made the area rougher, if those were extra rough spots, they would tend to get darker, they would take stain more, but they, they're taking less stain. So it's kind of weird. I was kind of anticipating that they were rough and that when I went over they'd be kind of like dark areas and I think that would have been a little bit more palatable. But uh, it, it's kind of weird looking, it looks sort of messy, it looks like some kid went out at, at it with a Crayola crayon. And it's really, you know, it's one of the most prominent floor joists in the whole place, unfortunately. I mean, you know, it's not going to kill anyone, you know, nobody's going to die over it, but you know, Everything else looks really nice and I'd love it if I could maybe figure that out. I don't know, if you get any ideas on what's causing that and how to fix that, uh, you know, given that it's already been stained, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Worst case, I just kind of go in with a brush. I mean, I do have training as an artist. I, I can manually go and diminish them all, at least make it, you know, not as obvious, but that's going to be kind of time consuming. But, uh, I don't know, we'll see about that. But overall, plumber's coming. We only have five more floor, jo floor joists to go. And, uh... Yeah, things are going all right. That's it. Thanks for watching.